Rewriting the rule book, understanding the phrase. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to explore the fascinating phrase, rewrote the book. This phrase is not just about books or writing. It's a metaphorical expression that has a deeper meaning in the English language. Stay tuned as we unfold the layers of this phrase, ensuring you can use it confidently in your conversations. The phrase, rewrote the book, is used metaphorically to indicate that someone has significantly changed the conventional way of doing something. It implies that the person has been so innovative or revolutionary in their field that the existing standards or methods are no longer applicable. The book, in this context, symbolizes the traditional rules or methods. While the exact origin of the phrase, rewrote the book, is unclear, it's understood that it evolved from the idea of rewriting a rule book or a manual. This signifies drastic changes or updates to the existing guidelines. Over time, it became a popular way to acknowledge someone's groundbreaking achievements or innovative methods in various fields. To understand how to use, rewrote the book, in conversation or writing, let's look at some examples. Innovation. Steve Jobs rewrote the book on smartphone design with the introduction of the iPhone. Sports. The coach rewrote the book on defense, leading the team to a championship victory. Business. With her unique approach to customer service, she rewrote the book on client relations in the industry. Other expressions that convey a similar meaning include, broke the mold, implies that someone did something in a completely new and different way. Change the game, indicates that someone transformed the usual way of doing things in a particular area. Congratulations! You now understand the phrase, rewrote the book, and how to use it to describe groundbreaking changes or innovations. This phrase is a powerful way to acknowledge significant shifts and revolutionary ideas in various fields. Keep exploring the nuances of the English language, and you'll continue to find fascinating ways to express yourself. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.